Hello everyone and today I'm gonna teach you how to simulate key press and detect key press. So in here I have windows.h you need that and I stream and conio.h for our get ch. Then I'm using namespace std and I have main method and while true loop. You can use while one loop if you are in c and then get ch yeah. So first I'm gonna teach you how to detect key press. So this will detect key press from anywhere. If it's not focused then also it will detect the key press. Not like get ch when it's focus then only it will detect the key press and this will detect any key press like if i press escape then also it will detect so if get async key state once you type that it's a function that will return true if the key is pressed and that will return false if the key is not pressed so i'm doing this in while true loop because i want to constantly check for it or else it will end checking once only so i can type the key code hexadecimal value or the defined value that's vk underscore something so vk underscore controls is for ctrl key on keyboard which is control key and it's for both left and right key so if you want left control then you can type l or you can type r if you want right one and we will print key pressed if it returns true and end and we will wait for some time before we print it once more cause you know the program is lot faster than us so if we press for one second also it will print multiple times like uh, hundreds of times so we need to wait s l e for 10 milliseconds yeah 10 milliseconds is okay i guess and then you compile it and run it so if i press control it will say key pressed and if i press any control it will work so now unfocus it and then you can try like let me focus on notepad and uh, yeah here you can see i have wrote the key codes i have just copy and pasted it from microsoft website in which it's lot nicer and you can check it out link is in description so 0x41 is hexadecimal value for key a for key a there is no vk underscore a and for letter key and number key there are no vk key defined so you have to type this hexadecimal value okay back to point now if i press control over here then also it will see it. as you can see it flicker so i have focused this window still it's flickering because it's printing anyways now i will make it a program that will type capital a and small a wherever you are focused when i press control so let me do here system cls this will clear the console window and now once it notices that you have pressed any control key now this is the function that you want to use for pressing key type key bd this stands for keyboard underscore event and then this is for function so you have to do that parenthesis then type vk key means the virtual key code so for a that's 0x41 and then type 0 then the dw flags is where you tell it if you want to press it or you want to lift it if it's already pressed then you can't press it once more because it's already pressed as keyboard if you press it you can only lift it and if it's lifted you can't pull it up so it will remove the key if you physically pull the key up from your keyboard anyways so if it's lifted you can't lift it once more it will do nothing so type key event f don't forget that f and type extended key and then type zero again so this will press the key and also you have to type it in capital and you can always do this so it has 0x0001 and uh, key up has 0x0002 so once you do this it will press the key and it will do nothing yeah so you need to lift the key now otherwise it will spam the key and if you close the program then also the key will be pressed you have to press it again on physical keyboard so that it won't hold the key so type sleep or else it will do it super fast and no one will notice like the mouse one and just copy and paste it and 
and over here just remove the extended and type up so it becomes key up and this will press our normal little a to press a big a type sleep again so the program which is listening for key presses won't go mad and this time 10 will be okay and now here you want to hold shift then you want to press a lift a lift shift or you can do is press and lift caps lock and then press and lift a and then again press and lift caps lock but shift one is easy so we will go with shift one so paste it again and over here you can type as vk underscore l shift so left shift it won't press two shift so you can always check it if it's there so you want to extend it and then the program needs to sleep or wait so copy that paste that and uh, again copy the key press of a and uh, paste it again so this is for a and this is for holding shift and now we need to lift the shift copy and paste it and remove extended and type up so what this program will do is first it will press a then wait for one millisecond and then lift a so it in notepad you will only see a coming in then it will wait for 10 milliseconds and it will hold the shift this time wait for one millisecond and then press a and then wait for one millisecond and then it will release a and then it will also release shift so you can you can add a sleep over here but it's not needed because the program has to do nothing with it just the system has to do and system can listen for it so you can add it or you can leave it so i will type slash slash over there yeah now if we compile this and run this and uh, over here the console window let me focus in notepad so this is new notepad not that uh, key code one and over here if i type control you can see key pressed and capital A appearing when you press control and press any other key the program which is running will not show it so if I press control A it will not type it in cause we are pressing the control with it and control logs letter keys and number keys so we need to sleep it till the control is lifted up so we can do it for half a second means 500 millisecond and now if you compile and run that and now if you go to notepad and let me clear this thing so that you can see it and after half a second you can see that it's printing a and capital a so that was the video guys and hope you enjoyed so don't forget to like it and share also and subscribe and make sure you click the video that's showing up because that's the most recommended for you and um, yeah so bye goodbye